I've got to get back in there. Stay back. There's only death ahead. Shades boiled out of the ground and fell upon us. So much death. Mages Guild. They were excavating this ruin for artifacts, but they woke something up. Some of the acolytes are still trapped inside. If I don't do something, those acolytes are done for. But I've lost a lot of blood. arrived in the nick of time. Make it back to camp from here. before any more of them return. I want to do is research. Why do I always end up in life or death situations? Either in Darwin's cursed or I am. Shades boiling up from the ground? What next? Trolls in heat? We were excavating for artifacts when Dominion soldiers showed up, demanding we turn over anything we'd found. And Darwin showed them what we had, but Lieutenant Urion insisted we work faster. No protocols, no safeguards. I have no idea. The Mages Guild has procedures for a reason. Not that the soldiers listened. We found an ancient scepter made from bone. But before we could properly contain the artifact, one of those idiots grabbed it. That's right. And if it weren't for you, I'd have joined them. I'm heading back to our base camp. You should speak with Andarwin if you think you can help sort out this mess. You can't be any worse than Lieutenant Orion.
What are you doing? That's not your property. That bone scepter is the only thing of note we found. There's no end of trouble since we pulled it from the ruin. It's not dangerous, not directly. What I mean to say is that holding it won't rot your hand off, at least not immediately. It summons all the shades, I suspect. It certainly doesn't control them. Not that I've found anyway. Although, hmm, the markings carved into the scepter are all alien for Pale Sentinel. Could that mean the creature at the heart of the ruin? It's the only shade we've heard speak, though it mostly just wails. It is rather pale, come to think of it, and the scepter works obsidian into bone, which is an old form of necromantic control. Say, would you care to help prove a theory? If that shade is in fact a pale sentinel, that bone scepter may have some control over it. And if it's directing the rest of the shades, perhaps you could force it to stop. Besides, we can't allow Telekar's ancient traps to remain active. Not this close to Elden Root. He was a necromancer, one of Manamarko's most talented apprentices. But he and his wife Vestari eventually left Manamarko's tutelage. It isn't entirely clear. There are many theories, but they all boil down to a difference of opinion. Seems to be the way of things with necromancers. No, please, don't wake him! Stop! Don't make me go back! I was so close to escaping him forever! Telekar. A bad man who sleeps inside these ruins. When he wakes, I'll be trapped here forever. I'll do everything I can to get away. I did not! Telekar's servants hurt those people. They don't like you if you aren't from here. When he wakes, he'll control them completely. Just like me. The Bone Scepter holds power over Telekar's monsters. Over me. I can't lie to you. Besides, lying is wrong. One of Telekar's victims. But I don't have to be. If you can free me before he wakes, I'll leave. Then he'll go back to sleep forever. I understand. I'm a monster. Nobody listens to monsters. But if Telekar wakes, he might do bad things to people who live in the forest. I don't want that to happen. Not because of me. I want him to go back to sleep. Oh, all right. We should go inside the ruins so his shades can't hear us, I guess.
quiet in here. Telekar's servants don't like things with blood inside them. And they really don't like noise. There's a big sparkly door inside the Constellation Room. It's this big lock Vistari made, to keep him asleep inside. She doesn't come around anymore. I think that's why the door isn't so sparkly. Telekar's wife. They fought and fought, because he was a bad man, and she was a good woman. But she thought she could change him. When she realized he'd always been bad, she locked him in here. But the lock grew weak, and now he's waking. Vistari left three of the things we need in special rooms around the ruins. The fourth is stuck inside some of Telekar's servants. If you smash them open, I won't tell. But about all the pieces, I, I don't know how to make them work together. I'm sorry. That's easy. The morning room, the smelly room, and the forbidden room. But don't worry. I can keep you safe. We should just go there. I'll point out what we need. I can distract Telekar's servants. Point the Bone Scepter at one of them and I'll blind it. Then you can smack it until it falls down. Don't worry, it's not like you're hurting it. They get back up again, eventually. Oh, all right. The most important thing is the book Vistari wrote in when she locked the door. We need to find that so we know what to do in the Constellation Room. There's an old skull Telekar stole from Menomarco. Then there's a glowy vial. I don't know what's inside, but if you listen real close, you can hear whispers. Oh, and the Milky Rocks. You'll find those inside some of Telekar's servants. think sometimes. It's where Vistari left the book she wrote in when she put Telekar to sleep. Go to the Constellation Room and put Telecar back to sleep.
think it's working? How dare you intrude within my... What? It's no! you! Let me go! You there! Explain yourself! What are you doing in my home? Who are you? Why have you invaded my home? The Shades defend my home from thieves. Neither I nor my servants bear any interest in the living. My work concerns one who died long ago. And now, I would know why this creature travels with you. Simple-minded thing. Those wards have contained me for decades. I remain within by choice. Now. I'm at a critical juncture in my research, and I need this creature to complete it. If you interfere, I'll drive you from my home. Now, be gone. No, please! I don't want to stay here! You dare interrupt me? Kalian, my son, see to this intruder. Again, you trouble me at a critical juncture. What must I do to hasten your departure? Attempting to restore my son despite your interruptions. That creature is a piece of him, an imperfect piece. If I reunite flesh and spirit, I can revive my son. He's my son. I'd do anything to restore him to a fraction of himself. With refinement, I can make him whole again. Vastade thought this hubris. If she hadn't left this world, I'd try to make her understand. That we could one day be a family again. I needed time to refine my methods, and time I have had. And now, I have his spirit. I don't wish to harm this creature. But without the bone scepter to control it, I must resort to cruder methods. You what? That scepter is crafted from my own bones. It can bind the creature to his immortal husk. Once Kalian's wounds knit, I'll summon him here. You must bind the creature to his husk, set things to how they should be. You feared I would raise an undead army to march through Grotwood? My wife and I spurned Manamarco for a reason. But in return for binding this creature to my son's husk, I pledge we will remain within our home forever. He was young when he had his accident. Too young. The creature you've met can't fully comprehend the world around it. Unless properly supervised, it could harm itself or others without knowing what it did. No, to set it free would be a cruelty. Kalian is my son. I needed all his remains to craft the husk, so I had to use my own for the scepter. To command a spirit, use a focus made of its bones or those of its close relatives. Basic necromantic principle. I broke through Vastari's ward just under a century ago. I have remained here ever since, attempting to restore what remained of my family. I will never leave as long as Kalian remains at my side. This is my home. Help! Don't let them take me! Finally. My child is restored to me. 
There's still so much to be done, but you start with clay before moving on to marble. Vastari, if only you could see how wrong you were. I'll open a portal so you can tell them directly. My servants will defend our home from trespassers, but shall not stray beyond the ruins above. If they seek lost knowledge, the Reliquary of Stars is a wonderful old ruin. And it isn't here.